Welcome back, JC here, and this is how you connect the X8R receiver to the Seriously Dodo flight controller. I'll show you how to wire everything, take in a beta flight, set everything up, and then get telemetry working on your Tyrannus. I will leave you with links to my X8R, Dodo, and Tyrannus playlist in the top right of your screen and description below for other helpful videos. So going to the Dodo flight controller, these are the input pins. If you look on the back side, the very first pin is GND, which is ground. Then we have 5V, which is going to power our receiver. And then you have uh, the input channels 1 to 8. They're typically for a PWM receiver, which this is. But I will actually show you how to set this up to use SBUS, which is a much better choice. Uh, the reason we will be doing that is because with PWM, you would have one signal wire on each and every one of these channels plus a power wire and a ground wire. So we'll have a minimum of 10 wires and only get eight channels. Or we can use SBUS, which is only going to be three wires and 16 channels. Not only that, but SBUS is faster than PWM. So because we are using SBUS, uh, you can configure these PWM input channels to do other things. Uh, and we will see right here on channels 3 and 4, that is also UART number 3. Uh, you can tell because it says uh, U3RX and U3TX, meaning UART number 3, receive and transmit. Specifically, we need the receive on UART number 3, which is going to be channel number 3. So I just took a 3-wire server cable like this and direct soldered it to the ground, power, and channel number 3. Uh, you can use pin headers if you want and just plug another end like this end. Uh, either way is fine, it's going to work uh, the same. Going back to the X8R, if we look at this diagram that says SBUS, it's actually talking about these three pins right here. And we need to plug this in in the same order with the signal wire being on the inside, ground on the outside. So once you plug it in, it should look something like this. Now we need to get telemetry. Telemetry also requires a UART. So if we look on the back side, these pins over here are UART number one, but I never recommend using that because it is tied in with the USB and that's gonna cause problems. So instead, let's use UART number two, which is uh, going to be on the, these uh, five pins right here. Uh, but just like how before we used a receive on a UART, this time we will be using a transmit. The transmit for UART number two is this middle pin right here. Uh, and it's gonna say U2TX. So on this side, it looks something like this. The other end of this wire, I just spliced in a single servo connector. And going back to the X8R, we'll see another diagram here on the back side. And we want the pin where there is a S because that stands for smart port. So I'm just gonna plug this in right there. Now I know there are positive and negative pins here, but we actually don't need those because we already have a positive and negative up here. You don't need two, only one. Matter of fact, two would probably mess things up. Now you just want to take a USB cable and plug it in. And this will power not only the flight controller, but also the receiver. At this point, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Just look in my X8R or Tyrannus playlist and you'll find a video on how to do that. Now once I turn on my transmitter. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light because I have gone ahead and bound this. Low battery. Uh, battery like I said, if you have not bound it, you are not going to get the solid green light. Once you get the solid green light, then that means uh, everything is bound, you are good to go, and we can continue. So we will just go into beta flight and connect. And first thing we want to do is go to ports. Because we put the S bus wire on UART number three, come over here underneath UART three and turn on serial RX. And because we put the telemetry wire on UART two under telemetry, you want to select smart port. I know this is a free sky receiver, but these are actually different types of telemetry. Uh, the D4R2 uses this type of telemetry, but 
the X8R uses smart port telemetry. So we'll choose smart port, save and reboot, go to configuration and scroll down and uh, once again because we are using SBUS that is going to be a serial and then we need to choose what type of serial which is SBUS scroll down some more and turn on telemetry and save and reboot now we just need to test everything so go to receiver if you move your joysticks around roll pitch yaw and throttle should all be moving on your screen if you have created any switches you can test those out now things are about to get real hybrid mode stunt mode active cheat mode active okay everything is good there now as far as getting telemetry in the tyrannus you just want to press menu to go to your model hold down the page button to go to the telemetry page scroll down and discover new sensors then stop discovery and there is all of our telemetry sensors uh, VFAS is going to be your voltage it's only showing around 5 volts now because we have a USB cable connected but once you plug in a LiPo battery it's going to show you the full voltage of your battery and that does it guys so uh, check out those other playlists for other helpful videos and I will see you again soon